Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Wednesday, November 7th. No, is it today? 7th? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, November 7th. Anyway, yeah, that Wednesday after elections. As you all know, Democrats uh, now rule the House, three seat advantage. Republicans extended their uh, lead in the Senate. Uh, and for those of you who stayed up, total waste of time. Um, I stayed up. I was up till about three. And then when I saw that there was no way the uh, Democrats were going to get hold of the Senate, uh, I just went to bed. Uh, but causing a bit of a later start this morning. What are we thinking post-election now? Uh, I don't know what gridlock means. Uh, I don't know uh, what's going on per se on the political side, but the charts are, are, are pretty clear. It, it's a dollar sell, so um, dollar yen looks like it's going to bearish engulf. A close below 11 is bearish engulfing. Euro uh, has retained its bid nature. High has been 72. As long as euro stays above 114, the figure uh, it's going higher. Curiously enough, uh, dollar czar is breaking through this trend line. Well, it broke through last night. It went down to 05. This looks like a break trade to me. We have this low here, um, 13.95. This low here, 14.00. Now we have 14.05. I just get the feeling through 14.05 is going to bleed into 14, a break of the figure, which is going to lead into a break of 95, which is going to bring down prices down into 13.60 eventually. Uh, my well-worn bias uh, to sell South African Rand has not changed, uh, so I will be looking to buy dollar Rand down in this 13.60 area for sure. But for today, I'll be a seller of dollar rand, just tactically. You know, I'm paid to make money. I'm not paid to uh, have a bias. So, through 05 looks interesting in, in, in dollar rand. Um, what else? Uh, dollar Swiss holding holds above parity on uh, seesaw, kind of a day. All cross yen is just hasn't moved right where it started. Kiwi has broken. So that that Kiwi big uh, gains off of the employment number last night. And so we were through 90 figure. Uh, all the way up to 67, 78. And the important break on the Kiwi is Kiwi Yen. On a purely technical basis, this is massively important. So this will be a buy back at 75.60 if we ever see it again. It doesn't really dovetail with the story that I think is going to happen. I have a feeling we're going to get some stock to sell off today. Most of the media is kind of like, eh, gridlock's not too bad for stocks. Um, but I think what they're neglecting is the fact that we're in a bear market. So there's really no reason for stocks to be up 60, 70 handles uh, from the lows of three days ago. So I do think stocks are going to turn. Um, and how is Kiwi Yen going to hold up if stocks turn? I don't know. But if you're purely a technician, um, boy, that's a powerful break right there, Kiwi Yen. We don't, have a, we don't have a dog in this fight. We did get long Kiwi over the number, but we squared heading into the election results, which, as in hindsight, was a stupid idea, but um, such is life. What else? Oil is uh, getting killed still. Dollar CAD is kind of bid. This is now going to become interesting, 131.70. Uh, we have no news out here in Europe. And so I don't really see how um, how this is gonna this is gonna break the top side unless oil um, gets smashed even 
further. 61.77. Look at that chart in oil. Jeez Louise. That is a chart of an entire market, institutional market, got long. Good night, Irene. Wow. We were not short. Anyway, um, as you can see, a little bit groggy this morning. Not really too much of a strong clue on what's going on. Uh, my favorite chart, technically, is this dollars R chart. Um, I will be looking for ways to sell equities today. I, I definitely think equities are, are, are a big sell into the figure. The high has been 76, so between 2780 and 2800. Um, this is a sell. I, I just doubt we're going to close above this 200 day. And it's just more intuition than, than um, anything else. Pretty bullish little bounce here. Um, but the bear market, so we got to look for places to sell. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. Not much to say today. Don't want to get it, lead anyone too far astray. Good luck out there. I will, uh, when I get my bearings and see some uh, good risk reward set up, I'll chuck it up on Twitter. Talk to you guys later. Ciao.